Ugh. Hey guys. I just took a shower and I just took the first dose of medication. It's a combination of um, two antivirals. Here, I can show it to you better on that side. I don't think anybody's ever talked about it, like on YouTube or anything like that. Um, so I thought I would, I mean, this is how it comes. It's um, two pills of one drug and one pill of the other. Like I said, I just took it because I figured I have any kind of adverse reaction, at least it's the middle of the day. And I'll have to take it at 2 o'clock in the morning, which for me is fine, but that wouldn't work for everybody. Um, so I thought I would just sort of document what's been going on with me. <coughs> wow, I look thin with my hair up. Um, wow, I can't believe how thin my faces. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I have notified everyone except one neighbor that lives four houses down and I cannot notify her because I'm in quarantine. So I will notify the town on Monday so that the town nurse is aware and she can notify her that she was exposed. Um, so weird. It's like you're going back to days of measles quarantine, you know? Um, I still pale. I have a stuffy nose. I can no longer smell anything. I can still taste, unfortunately, because I still have prednisone to take. <coughs> I shouldn't laugh because it makes me cough. Um, like I said, I went in the shower and I tried to clear out my nose a little bit. and um, This has become my best friend. This is um, for the nebulizer. I have an open one, but this is what the, there's five in a pack. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six packs in a box, in a small box. You get like 12 in a big box. Um, so, I'll probably take one again before I go to bed. <coughs> if I figure out how to sleep. That's going to be a trick with my nose. <laughs> I noticed that I lost my sense of smell when I put this up my nose. It's a, a vapor inhaler. It's a Quate instead of Vix. Cheaper. And I couldn't smell it. I could feel the vapors. But I couldn't smell it at all. So, yeah. <laughs> but I did. I wanted to document this for you and for me. So far, I took this about uh, 10, 15 minutes ago. I don't feel anything. So, I'm hoping it means it doesn't do anything. Um, the only thing I'm feeling right now, other than sheer crap, is well, a little bit of a belly ache because I've had a belly ache. I've had a belly ache. Um, is I feel very shaky from the breathing treatment. <laughs> and I only take half a treatment. With, you know, my pulmonologist, back when I had a pulmonologist, told me half a treatment was fine. Because it's hard. When you take it through the nebulizer, you really shake. Plus, I've been using my inhaler like it's going out of style. So, um, needless to say, <clears throat> I have to say, though, my breathing um, was better. I don't know what it was last night because it evidently did not measure. Um, I didn't sleep enough consistent hours altogether for it to uh, measure it last night. But the night before, it was 93. Um, the night before that, it was 94. So it was going in the wrong direction. And then when I got up in the morning and I started moving around after a night of 93, it was 95, which isn't bad. 
but ideally you want 97 to 100. Right now I'm at 98. I'm happy with that. I'd be even happier if this stuff that I just took unclogs my nose. I'll wait on my sense of smell. You know, it's going to be awful when I go to eat my supper. Not being able to smell my supper, but at least I can taste it. Um, and at least I don't have to cook. I just throw it in the microwave because I already made it yesterday. Thank God. Um, I think I'm going to skip the salad. Just give my throat a break. And just eat the really soft meat and gravy that I made and the soft mashed potatoes and gravy. So, easier on my breathing, too. Um, but I did. I wanted to document it. Um, like I said, I don't know how YouTube feels about that, but I know a lot of people won't say the word on YouTube. Some people I've heard say the word COVID on YouTube, but and I have to keep in mind too, I have no idea what variant I have or or what the hell. It could be anything. You know? Um, I do know you have to have a pretty high viral load for the home test to finally pick it up or four freaking negative tests. But I knew something was wrong last night. I knew that. I was getting worse instead of better. My head filled up and it was like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. <coughs> um, the prednisone is working wonders as far as um, shrinking the inflammation in my airways, in those smaller airways um, that was triggered by the infection because it exacerbated my asthma. Well, it's bringing that inflammation down so I can cough up all the garbage that the infection put there. So, that's good. <coughs> he told me to keep taking it, so. It's a five-day, what he calls it, a burst. Instead of doing a taper, he did a burst. So, and I am starving. <laughs> Um, so, I am going to try and rest. Um, I'm editing the video that we did this morning. It was an epic fail <laughs> as far as painting that goes. But I do have something else that I can paint that seems, I did a test patch on it and it seems like once that's sanded it'll work a lot better. Um, because it's not the same. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait to do that. So, and I do like the fact this paint starts pink. Um, ugh, my stupid nose. Shower didn't really help all that much. Standing up helps a little bit. But, um, like I said, it's not going to ruin our Halloween. And yes, I am in PJs, but I'm in clean PJs. Short sleep. Um, I keep my fan going. Let's see. Uh, all the time. Because with, um, yeah. We're all adults here. Menopause. If I don't have it on, I sweat. So, because I get um, hot flashes, night sweats, and, you know, like I said, menopause. We're all adults. I may not look old enough, but trust me, I'm old enough. <sighs> so, yeah, I just wanted to document this. I actually had, until I got sick, the day planned out. I know what, what I want to do for my wrestling one. I just don't have the energy to write it. And I have to write it because I'm doing stories that came out, interesting stories that came out of the books that I have. Um, I was going to do a life update, which I guess you could call this that. Genealogy, of course, and, and some kind of music and memories video. Um, matter of fact, it's funny. I just had <laughs> I just had a memory when I was in the bathroom. I was remembering snow days for some reason. <coughs> and it's so cute. Um, my cousins and I are listening to the radio. We're all bundled up for school. And we're listening to the radio. And they called out our town. Our, it did it at the last possible second, you know? And we were thrilled. 
So we unbundled ourselves and said, can we go upstairs and play Uno? So we took my Uno cards and we went upstairs to my uncle's apartment because he lived above us and um, sat in a circle in the living room, the three of us, the boys and I, as we called them, and uh, played Uno all day. So yeah, it was fun. We spent all our time together when we were at home, um, when they lived across the driveway and when they lived above us. So. I grew up with them like my brothers, you know, and um, I remember another snow day. This is hilarious. My mother bundles me up, you know, I get my snow boots on and I get my, she does my scarf. My mother always did my scarf, nose and mouth, and she would take it and she would like tuck it in a certain way so it didn't fall down. And she had me all bundled up and I went out the door and went across the driveway to pick up the little girl because this was later. My cousins had moved and there was a little girl across the driveway that I would pick up and we would watch school together. I knocked on the door and her mother's kind of looking at me and I said, why isn't she dressed? And she said, it's a snow day. There's no school today. Huh? So I went home, everybody's laughing. I went home across the driveway and told my mother and she turned, she turned on the TV and Sure enough, they had canceled it at the last possible minute. <coughs> so, yeah, that happened a couple times. But it's funny when you send your kid to school on a snow day. <laughs> um, I'm just glad I didn't end up walking all the way up the hill. Although I gotta tell you, there was just a little bit of sleet on the ground. It wasn't a big deal. I mean, we live in New England. A little bit of sleet on the ground and you're gonna cancel school? You know? I've walked to school in a foot of snow, I, I kid you not. So I don't know why that particular day, maybe it was icy. Um, but, yeah. So. But I thought I'd share that. It's just fun, you know, because this is just a life update vlog, just a documenting my illness sort of thing. Um, so I guess if I'm documenting, I should tell you my symptoms. I have a very, very, very stuffy nose. I have a large size head. I have a fever, according to my armpit, not according to my head. But I got a fan blowing on my head. Um, I have, let's see, kind of an off and on sore throat. I have had swollen lymph nodes for a while since I had sinus infection. The lymph nodes that are right in here. The ones down here I don't have. Well, the ones I don't have. So, <laughs> this side. This side. <laughs> I need to see my scar. No, it's this side. It's the right side. Um, that I, I don't have. So, but um, I still have the ones way up here. And they're reacting, boy. Um, let's see what else. My chest is congested. Um, that seems to be getting better. <laughs> I have been sneezing nonstop. I didn't know a human being could sneeze. And I've kicked in because I know no one else has done a YouTube video about it. So I thought it was important. I mean, it's has emergency use authorization, but not actual approval. <laughs> but anyway, if it works, lessens this thing, you know, great. I would not wish this on my worst enemy if I had a worst enemy. And I feel terrible about the people I potentially exposed. So, um, this one will be easier to edit because I don't have anything to cut out. I had to cut out 90% of my conversation with my mail lord on the other one. So, um, but this one will be much easier to edit. Uh, I'm going to go back and watch restorations where I don't have to, you know, remember anything for a video. So I want to wait until I feel better to watch Halloween ends. Like I said, I'll bring you an update tomorrow on side effects. So you ended up getting two videos today, even though I did not intend to make two videos today. I feel better standing up, even though I'm very weak. And it doesn't help when you're taking breathing treatments and they do this to you. And it's like, I'm already weak. 
you know, and then you take breathing treatments and they make you shake because albuterol is a form of adrenaline and adrenaline because adrenaline helps open your airways that's why they give you an EpiPen, epinephrine, another form of adrenaline when you have um, an anaphylactic reaction because everything closes up and swells that opens it back up but you also end up shiver shaking so it's like you're in an earthquake that only you can feel so yeah it does my mother tells me if you take treatments often enough that goes away I notice I don't get it from my inhaler like I do from the treatments because they go deeper and believe me right now I need the treatments <laughs> <coughs> At least I'm able to cough some of this crap up. <coughs> when this is all over and I feel better, I am cleaning my house. I am spraying every room with Lysol. I am cleaning every door handle, every light switch. I'm going to go nuts um, to get this out of my house. I am going to spray my pull cords on my fan. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just spray my light switches with Lysol. Um, and my door handles and I'm just gonna go nuts that's why I haven't done my dishes because I don't want to touch them right now my friend was nice enough to fill my pill case for me for the week so that I didn't have to with my jumbled up mind try to do it and do it wrong so I definitely appreciate that she did that on the porch. I wore KN95 and was behind the screen. So, um, I'm gonna sneeze again. But at least this won't interfere in our Halloween. Because it was early enough. I think I'm gonna pull out my puzzle after I edit this video. Um, eat my supper and work on the puzzle because once again my stomach hurts and it feels better for a little while after I eat I also think I'm going to have a popsicle with it um, one of the outshine bars I am so obsessed with those things love them and they're good for you they're made with real smashed up strawberry um, after I eat those down a little bit I'm going to get other flavors because I love the other flavors too. The strawberry, the raspberry, the, um, what is it called? Tangerine. Um, I don't mind the grape. That comes in with the three packs and stuff. I don't mind it. And I usually hate grape popsicles because they're usually way too sweet. Um, but seriously, the strawberry, the tangerine, the um, raspberry. Uh, I do like the pineapple, but I, I don't like the texture of the chopped up pineapple in the bar. It's a little weird for me. So my favorites are the strawberry, the tangerine, the raspberry, strawberry, the tangerine, the raspberry, What am I missing? Strawberry, the tangerine, the raspberry. <laughs> I can't remember now. My brain is not working today. But the strawberry, the tangerine, and the raspberry are my three top ones not sponsored. They don't know I exist. It'd be nice if they sponsored me and sent me all I wanted, but um, <laughs> <coughs> that's so funny. You know, it's funny. I put my smelly stuff on and I can't even smell it. I just did it because I always do it and at least, well, there's nobody here to smell me, but if there were, <laughs> Um, but thank you so much for listening to me blabber on about 
this illness. This is probably the sickest I've been. Except when I had pneumonia in 2014. I was darn sick. In terms of my chest, uh, much more sick. But overall body sick, I've never felt like this. <laughs> so, then you're saying, she's smiling. Yeah, that's me. Giant blood clot from here to here, still smiling. So, <laughs> um, it's who I am. It's it's my makeup. You know, I'm glad my mother is not here because this would have killed her if she wasn't, you know, already unfortunately dead. Um, so, here's a bright side. <laughs> I wrote to her on Messenger today. I just wrote, I love you. Um, tell me if you've ever done that. Set your parent your deceased parent or sibling or something um, a text that said I love you or a message you know or some kind of message um, or text whichever um, to your deceased loved one just because it made you feel better um, but thank you for listening um, God bless you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'm going to curl up. I'm going to edit this video, do a puzzle, eat, and finish watching these restorations, because I'm really enjoying them, because it's mindless for me, you know? Because <laughs> I know just enough to be dangerous, you know what I mean? Because I took wood shop, uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. Ninth grade, it was a full on class. Um, I took, I had to take metal shop in seventh and eighth grade. Hated every freaking bit of it, but, um, now let me explain. I loved the teacher. And actually a few years later, he, he died of a heart attack. That was pretty awful. Um, right after we got out of school. Uh, The reason I hated it had nothing to do with him. I absolutely adored the teacher. It had to do with my fear of the sparks and the metal and what happens with the metal. I did like one machine though, and he let me use it. It was the, the machine where you wrap the thing, you, wrap, you put the metal on it, you wrap it around, and that's how it bends the metal into cute curly cues and stuff. That I liked. But he didn't feel comfortable with me using most of the machines. And the other kids were mad because they had to machine my stuff for me. Because he just did not feel comfortable. Because he knew how afraid I was. Because I'm so terrified of fire. That's what it is. You have all these sparks. and ew. Anyway, I got off track. But, yeah. So I know enough to be dangerous when I'm watching this stuff. But at the same time, I don't have to think about it, you know? I can just enjoy the work and then the final product. And I love that they will uh, try out the final product. The guy just did a old big round pizza oven. I mean, it's it's like tabletop almost. And uh, he made a pizza, you know. If it does something, they're going to do the thing that it does. So that's pretty cool. Um, and some of them you look at and you think, you're never going to bring that back. <laughs> it's a rust bucket. You'd be amazed. And they will fabricate things to go with it. So that's what I'm going back to. Thank you so much. Again, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you're much healthier than I am. But I'm running out of breath. <coughs> um, God bless you. And bye-bye.